Question 2 says we should express 529 as a product of its prime factors. So you also use the division table. 528 divided by 2. We are starting by 2 because 2 happens to be the least prime number. So 2 into 500. 2 into 5 is 2, remainder 1. 2 into 12 is 6. And 2 into 8 is 4. 264 is not a prime number. So we keep dividing by 2, since 2 can still divide. 2 into 2 is 1. 2 into 6 is 3. And 2 into 4 is 2. 132 is still not a prime number. You divide by 2. 2 into 1 you cannot. 2 into 13 is 6 remainder 1. 2 into 12 is 6. 66 is also not a prime number. So I'll divide by 2 again since 2 can still divide. 2 into 3, 6 is 3. And this is 3. 33 is not. You divide by 2, but since 2, 33 is not divisible by 2, I'll take the next prime number, which is 3. So 3 into 33 is said to be 11, and 11 is said to be a prime factor. So 11 divided by itself is 1. So that 528 can be expressed as 2 times 2 times 2 times Two. That is 1, 2, 3, 4 times 3 times 11, which in index notation can be written as 2 raised to the power of 4 times 3 times 11. 2 raised to the power of 4 because 2 is multiplying itself 4 times, then times 3 times 11. So 528 being expressed as a multiple of its prime factor is said to be 2 raised to the power of 4 times 3 times 11. Kindly like my videos as you watch. While I recommend that you subscribe to my channel if you are yet to do so. Also turn on the notification bell so as to be notified. Whenever a new video is being uploaded, you can also use the comment section to interact with me on areas that are still difficult for you to understand. While I recommend that you share the link with your friends and families so that they can also benefit from our daily classes. We shall now take example 3 on prime factors.